Well, after some little bit of debate about stopping at Margate, mm -hmm. and uh, we went in a car park. Yeah. Uh, that takes photos of you as you're going and out, and we didn't pay anything, so I said we should put some <laughs> money in, otherwise we're going to get a bill now. Mm, £100. But we've carried on to, to Broadstairs, haven't we? Mm. So we're parked on the road here at Broadstairs. It says no camper vans between 6pm and 6am or something. But uh, here we are. We're going to walk back to Broadstairs, have mm. a little look down the hill here. Let's say we couldn't park there then. Not overnight. Oh, not no, overnight, that's no, right. No, not overnight. Um, but uh, it's free parking during the day, isn't it? Mm. Good out. Let's walk along here then. And there's a little Smurf park down on the road. We're going to go down this way. It's very strange because we've come around the corner a little bit, as it were. Um, and now we're sheltered from the wind because the wind was coming from the north. We're on the sort of on the edge of, I'll show you on a map. I'll put a little map on the screen so you can see what I mean. But look, there's no seahorses or anything uh, out there. A couple of boats. It's very pretty. We well, just walked along the road here to the promenade, as it were. And the uh, beach, the tide's coming up, so the beach is almost gone, but broad stairs is just ahead of us here. It's quite pretty. So we're going to walk down this little path here and see what we find. What's down there then, babe? Pigeons. <laughs> little pigeons. One yeah. of us got a nest. Yeah, probably. You can see a spot of these pigeons on the edge. Yeah, look. There we go. Yeah. Oh, Sophie will have them for breakfast. Yeah, she'll grab them. Yeah, getting closer now. Well, this looks rather nice. Ah, it's just starting to rain. So we might take shelter for a moment. See what happens. So we've walked from the bandstand just across there and uh, around the corner here, just out of sight, I'm not sure if we can get a glimpse of that, there is a lift down to the beach which is locked off because we're out of season but uh, as you can see quite a nice beach and sun shining on it now we're just having a little shower and I'm sure there's a rainbow up there somewhere but uh, quite a pretty little place very quiet now so we're out of season but uh, that was lovely in summer One or two signs here. You can see where we are on the map. This is called Viking Bay. Caught up with the rainbow. We've been watching these little birds feeding on the edge of the water here. Sophie's unhappy because we've stopped and she's wet and cold. So we'll keep moving. The rain's eased off a bit and then we're looking back down the beach here. And Sue's just telling me that this is the lifeboat station here. I don't know if it's still in use, is it, Sue? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, it's a bit of 
some lovely buildings here. Sun's starting to go down now, and it's so. Um, you can see the lift. If I zoom right in on it, you can see the lift down there. There's the lift. And we're back here at the lifeboat station. Lovely old building. There's a little car park and then the promenade continues round and you see the white cliffs all along the south coast you've got these beautiful white cliffs there's the answer to our question uh, it says the, the station was closed in 1912 so lovely old building and Sue said there's a nice little shop here closed today but got uh, this is in memory of cable ship alert and her gallant crew lost off this coast 24th of February 1945. May they never be forgotten. May they never be forgotten indeed. Mm. Yeah, we see that along the coasts of the UK, don't we? Mm. Memorials in those lost at sea. Walking back now, we'll pick out one of the two of the things that we missed while it was raining. Pretty little streets. And the gardens. Yeah. Closed today. Yeah. They're closed today. Back open again tomorrow. Tomorrow being Saturday, I guess the weekend's got more trade for them. Yeah, it's very pretty, isn't it? So, yeah, these are, this is a little, little gallery that we looked at on the way down. Very pretty. And uh, we'll walk up this way, so we'll see if we can see anything along here. There's the old curiosity shop there. It looks like it's closed for for the winter. Now we were quite amazed by this. Look, the George Inn, the Dolphin, and the Neptune Hall. All on all three corners of the street. All bars serving uh, different food and drink, and they're all look very inviting. I'm going to walk up the road here. I'm enjoying this walk in Broadstairs. It's really quite nice. Look at that. Oh, one of the little streets. Quite narrow paths along here, so we have to be a bit careful. Places are getting decorated for Christmas. This one caught our eye, Aqua 43. And that's why it's blue, I guess. I was just saying, there's lots of nice places to eat here. Uh, yeah, all sorts of cafes and diners. And now we're coming into the main main street of the town, I think, through here. The uh, seafront is just down here. Which way do you want to go back, Sue? I don't mind. You don't mind? Should we walk, walk that way? Okay. These old buildings here. I think the one on the right is probably Victorian or Georgian. coming towards the uh, little hill that we walked down from our van a little earlier and we're on our way back and here we are back at Smurf 
and uh, Sue's just putting Sophie back in her crate and uh, taking her. <laughs> nice walk. Come on, Oski. Yeah, Oski's turn to get. Oi, Sophie. Sophie. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Look at him. Okay. Well, that's the end of our walk today. We're going to make our way back to uh, the site now, so we'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, take care. Bye for now. <laughs>